Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today we are making a Harvest Moon inspired soap. Now, I will say I have already created a soap similar to this uh, for the September release, which was the Secret Soap series. This soap is very similar to the Hardy and Drew soap. I did a lot of the same little swirlies and stuff on the inside, but the main difference is that the moon this time is golden. In fact, it's rather fiery and very, very vibrant because it's a harvest moon, so it's orange. We use neons for the moons. Like, I wanted those moons popping, and hey, it worked. The neons look great. And I'm very, very happy. We also use Galactic Skies from Brambleberry as the fragrance soil. It's very, very clean smelling. So without further ado, let us make our Harvest Moon Soap. I would like to begin today's video by declaring that I am grouchy. I'm trying not to be grouchy, but I've been grouchy all day long. I don't think I've ever really talked about being grouchy while grouchy and filming a video, so this ought to be a brand new experience. I'm gonna pour my lye water solution into my oils, and I'm gonna tell you one of the reasons I'm grouchy. It is my own dumb fault, but it still doesn't make me any less mad just because it's my fault. But first, we blend. Bam, bam. This soap does have one layer in it, so I have to pour that off first. So the worst part about buying a house and moving is changing your address on everything you've ever owned your whole life. <laughs> like your driver's license, your banks, every single business thing you ever sent to your house, all those addresses have to be updated. And I can tell you, it's really easy for something to slip through the cracks and auto ship or for you to ship at least like two or three things to your house. It's happened every single time I've moved. Into this layer, by the way, I'm going to add some black oxide. Ooh, mystery, how ghostly. We're also going to add some galactic skies from Brambleberry. This has kaolin clay already mixed into it. I'm gonna blend first with my spatula, but this will set up. Anyway, I always send at least two or three packages to the wrong address, but this time I really messed up. The first thing I sent over there wasn't a big deal. I accidentally sent some turmeric powder and some chlorella powder, so some natural soap colorants I sent to the wrong house. Ugh, it was like a little over 20 bucks, which is still not great and makes me feel bad. But listen, the next thing I sent to the house is worth $300. It is a business purchase. I am, I'm livid. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pour this first layer in and then I'll texture it up. Now, here's the lucky thing, is that I have mail forwarding to my new address and the package is being shipped via USPS. So it could be that I can intercept the package by calling them, though if you've ever tried to reroute a package with USPS, you know how futile those attempts usually are. I'm really hoping that the people who bought our house are nice people and that if it gets delivered to the house, I can walk up and be like, hey. <laughs> Here's my ID. I'm the person that sold you the house. You know, do you have my mail? Sorry about that. The people who we bought our new house from were some of the nicest people ever. And they've had a couple of pieces of official mail come here. So I'm putting together a little care package for her. I'm gonna put some soap in it and send her her mail over the next month. And honestly, it made me feel a little better after seeing the original home owners of our property also accidentally have mail sent to our house now because then I didn't feel quite as dumb. Of course, theirs were just letters and mine was a three 
hundred dollar piece of equipment. But I had a lot going on in September and I just didn't check it and that was my bad. So there you go. There's my story time of the time I sent an incredibly expensive piece of equipment to my old house. I will keep you guys posted and that is one of the reasons I am grouchy today. We may now continue on with the rest of this soap. I'm going to be adding different shades of blue, focusing mainly on navy blue, and then this one that I'm adding is blue vibrance mixed with some black oxide. So it's a darker blue, but it's not quite navy. Here's my navy blue, black heat, black here. Wow. And on top of it all, I clearly can't speak. And then a more blue navy blue. I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> It's just bluer. All right, let's go ahead and blend these up. These look so good. And I know these look very similar, but I promise they're not. This one's darker. So I am going to do that little swirl that I do where I pour it into the two corners. I'm also going to scrape a little, but I'm also going to leave a little in there for the top. The top is going to be spoon textured, but sometimes it's still nice to have a few different colors on top. I'm just gonna spin this around real quick. All right, awesome sauce. Let's pour. Now, this bottom part is like completely hard by now, so I'm not worried about making any indentations. I'm just going to pour. And then after I have it filled up about two thirds of the way, I'm going to add in some soap canes. So that's going to be really pretty. The thing about adding in soap canes is you always have to make sure you have enough to actually uh, cover them. <laughs> and that's the hardest thing to judge. I do, however, believe I have it almost perfect. So I'm gonna drop these in. It's at a great texture. It is thin enough to grab the soap, but not so thin that it slides down into oblivion. I told my sister Shelly I wanted these particular moons to be very vivid. We have had some really, and I mean like really bright orange moons. All right, now I'm going to drizzle on top because I don't actually want the moons to move and it is still a little loose. But yeah, we've had some really vivid moons right here at the beginning of autumn in Texas and I really wanted to kind of capture that. Really crazy. I've never seen anything like them. I sound like the kid on Old Yellow who's like, you won't ever see another one like them. <laughs> <laughs> that little kid on Old Yeller, who is also on Swiss Family Robinson, who's like, come on, little elephant, I wouldn't hurt you. Yeah, that character, little known fact, is one of Kenny's least favorite movie characters of all time. He hates that kid. <laughs> And I don't know why. I mean, I know that he was like, he's annoying, but I don't know why he has such a great disdain for him. Yes, I'm very happy that I saved this to go on top because this is going to look great when it's textured. I've really favored these subtle additions recently. A lot of my soaps are highly contrasted, so I don't know what it is that I've just been leaning into the contrast of like two or three shades and not much more. I don't know. I'm just in the mood for that, I guess. Also, I really like that blue vibrance mixed with black oxide. That looks insane. All right, so let's go ahead and texture the top a little bit. I'm just going to make multiple pulls to the center of these bars, not dipping down too far, just enough to give it a little texture and pull it all to the middle. And then you know, you know I'm going to put some pretty things things down the center. You know I'm going to. It's funny, filming has made me significantly less grouchy. Now I just feel subdued and weird. <laughs> Caleb and I do not have a Nintendo Switch. Neither one of us are very, like, gaming people. That's not really our thing. But he's been talking about getting one because I play Animal Crossing. He... <laughs> <laughs> Here's how much I love Animal Crossing. He bought me a Nintendo 3DS. I think it's, yeah, a 3DS and Animal Crossing New Leaf. And that's the only game I have for the 3DS. I know, what a waste. <laughs> but still, I play it most nights before bed, at least for like 15 minutes because I like to plant the plants. 
Okay, let's come over here, make sure this one has all the texture as well. That looks good. Okay, and there are only two types of glitter on top. One is a vegan sprinkle. These are just some silver stars, which I'm starting to think would be better put on with a spoon and not my little grubby fingers. <laughs> Indeed, much better. And then I have some little hollow eco-friendly stars. We're just gonna put a smattering of those. Okay, and then I'm gonna take just a little bit of Sparkle Me Aqua. You can easily overdo it. Just maybe one, two, three or four pumps per. It's just not that much. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm also doing it lightly so there's not like a whole part that ends up being turquoise. I'm almost pumping it a little bit higher than normal so that it, when it falls, it won't be so dense. I love it. I'm gonna spritz this in with rubbing alcohol real quick, make all those sparkles sit down, and I will bring you guys in for a close up. Ooh, yes. You guys have perked me right up. And so has this soap, honestly. It's so nice. So I'm gonna wait for 18 to 24 hours and then we'll come back and we will split these loaves. No, wait, no, that's not how it goes. We will split this slab into loaves and then cut the loaves into bars. About 52 bars to be exact after this quick commercial break. Okay guys, here's the loaf. Oh, also, yes, it's out of focus so you can see the hollow. I'm gonna turn this on the side because I really, really, really don't want drag marks because of those stars. Press down gently, gently now. Pull one out of the middle. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Well, I'm pleased to death. Also, I did get a drag mark from one of those stars, no matter how hard I tried, but still, I'm seeing the Harvest Moon vibes. Again, this is really similar to Hardy and Drew. I just changed the color. That was like, I, it, we sold out so fast to those bars and there were so many people that were like, Katie, make more moon soaps. So here you go, more moon soaps. <laughs> Caleb and I actually saw a Harvest Moon the other night and it was pretty surreal because I had just made this soap and then we saw it and I was like, well, I guess that was meant to be. <laughs> this smell is so good. It's a little bit spicy. I'll pop the fragrance notes down below so that you can see how utterly complex <laughs> this scent is. There's so much going on. You guys, I've almost got my internet installed. We've had people out finally. Oh man, I'm really starting to like <laughs> miss you guys and miss interacting. I don't know, it just isn't as motivating to get videos up when I know that I have to drive somewhere else to upload them. Also, I'm cleaning up my studio. I'm getting it organized so that I can give you guys a studio tour really soon here. It's really funny because I actually have less room for soap in this studio. I did not like upgrade my space. I actually downsized a little bit. I can't wait to show you all about it. Um, but let's see, let's do a question of the day. Okay, I, I will ask you this. That way um, I have a better idea of what you guys want to see. Would you like to see a full studio tour before I renovate any of it so that you can see what I'm starting with? Like that can be like, I don't know, the first video and then the second video is yay, we are renovating and have renovated. I don't really like renovation series where they drag it out for like nine episodes. I like to see the whole thing done in like 30 minutes, you know what I mean? So I'll probably just do one video for the renovating, but I could show you a studio tour before. Let me know, I'll leave two comments down in the comment section and you could just give a thumbs up to the one that you want the most. Well, I'm pleased to death. <laughs> The fragrance also smells different in the bottle than it does in the soap. In the bottle, it smells potent in kind of a strange way. Like it has this top note of like a pine or tree smell. 
and that goes away in the soap and then it just mellows out and smells really clean and fresh and delightful. If you'd like to pick up a bar of Harvest Moon, well, pop on over to the Royalty Soaps shop at royaltysoaps.com on November 7th at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. That is when our Autumn Vibes collection goes live and you can get yourself one. I hope you guys have an absolutely royal day. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like looking at the Harvest Moon as it rises with spooky music in the background. Or maybe trying a new fragrance oil from your favorite supplier. I don't care what you do, just be sure you do something fun for yourself and I will see you back here in a couple of days for the next installment of the Autumn Vibes Collection. And until then, have an absolutely royal day and bye for now. Yeah.